M0 FXP Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the DV Mega Cast. If you're not familiar with this device, it's basically a hotspot, but it does have a microphone, a wired microphone, although I'm using Bluetooth here because I have an uh, adapter. A speaker, you've got this nice LED and a screen, which is touch screen. So for example, right now I'm listening to Talk Group 91. We've got the information coming through on the screen. It's DMR, but this device works on DMR, D-Star and Fusion. So at the moment we're using the PiStar dashboard, but you can use the WPSD dashboard. There's the dashboard. You can see how loud the speaker is. If we go to configuration, you can see all the different modes here. So it's it's a very versatile device, but controlling it is the same as controlling a Pi Star hotspot. But you can control it using the screen. We'll turn the volume down here. We've got a quick power off button here as well. But if we just tap the screen like so, at the moment we are connected to Talk Group 91 and we just type it in and just push the tick and then it sets you up ready for Talk Group 91. If we enable the other modes, go to menu, then system, and then go next. And we can set volume and tone, go next again. And here I've, I've just chosen DMR, but you can choose DMR, D-Star and Fusion. So I'm gonna untick DMR and go to D-Star and then go save. And it looks like we have to go next first. Oh no, this is the boost mic level. Sorry, it's the next screen. So, well, as you can see, you've got a boost mic level. Why not? Let's just do it anyway. Uh, next, and here's where you enable the mode. So I'm gonna disable DMR and go uh, D-Star, wasn't we? Yeah, D-Star. And you can do this with the dashboard. You don't have to do it this way. And then go save, okay? And it saves. This unit has a Ethernet connector on the back as well as using a Wi-Fi dongle so it can be completely wireless and it runs on very low power It's none of this 50 watt type thing. It's a hotspot. It's running on you know I would say milliwatts so you can power it easy and the developer stroke manufacturer su Supply complete support every day and that's current Martin Lynch in the UK do sell this then you've got Combitronics as well and many other sellers around the world so we're in D-Star, there's also a menu list, so, so a memory list, so we go menu, memory, you can store these, very simple to, to do this using the software. I've stored a few, so let's just tap reflect to 30, and that will log in, and when you PTT, you'll see it go red, providing I've given it enough time to log in. M0FXB calling for a contact. Red speaker, red on the screen, turn up the volume. Ah, it's just connected. Zero, three, zero, Could be someone there already, but well, you're getting the information. Mine usually sounds pretty great, but I think what it does on that film, but I haven't had that thing with these towards in quite some time. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened this morning. I don't remember my main alarm going off. <laughs> I don't right. remember getting up out of bed and hitting snooze or whatever. But so, <laughs> I'm sounding go good. There, uh, just Let's go back to menu, back over system, to next, next, next. We'll go, we'll turn off D Star. We'll go to Fusion and then we'll save. Uh, yeah, definitely. So we're now in Fusion. Let's just go to tap the screen. I'm trying to tap the screen. There you go. And then we can choose choose where we're going to go. Which I think when I tap then, that was more the DGID look. The D DGID that was. Just reminding myself. We can go to our memories. So we'll go menu, memory, look for fusion that we preset. Should take us there in a second. Okay, we're there. Turn it up, see if anyone's about. So when choosing a fusion room, it's the quickest and easiest way is to use the preset memories. That's sounding good. Let's switch back to D-Star. So we'll go menu, system, next, next. Looks like next again. 
Untick that. D star next. Next. And save, okay? Okay, let me save. That's because someone's speaking. Wait for them to stop speaking. I wonder if I can just click exit. No, it's not going to let me. Ah, there you are. Power on off. That'll work. <laughs> and you press the volume button. See the power here? It's pretty good, isn't it? It's instant, but still not going to let me do the save. I've unticked it. Yo! Right. Back to D-Star. Give that a minute to come back on. And inside there's a, a Raspberry Pi. I'm pretty sure it's a Raspberry Pi. Anyway, I have to have another look inside. Right, so tap the screen. You need CQ. That's good. Okay. Then let's do... Let's bring it back. We're going to go... R E F. Sorry about this. My, I should know my alphabet. Uh, let numbers zero zero one. Then C L. Back to letters. C L. Okay. Reflect the zero one. Try tick. And then key the mic to link. And then we're waiting for the command that it says you are linked. And to talk, it has to say CQ, CQ. So if we go to uh, menu, system, next, next. Yeah, just checking, going through. So once you have linked, yeah. So I'm not sure if mine's linked yet. It might need a reboot. But once you have... You need to go back in and change that. Go like that. And you need to go back. It needs to say CQ, CQ. Okay, so you would just go delete it. Like so. Or maybe just click that. No. It needs to be the right amount of characters. Sorry, my fingers are too big on this. So CQ, CQ, CQ. And then when you, at least when you talk then, M0FXB test, M0FXB test. And I'm seeing on my dashboard, you know, when I did key reflect to one Charlie, it is showing up as one Charlie on the dashboard. It's quite a delay for it to link, but you get the idea. You're doing one Charlie, it links, then you change it back to CQ, CQ, and then people, you can chat with people or just use the memories. I'm not getting the link command, but it is linked to one Charlie. I can see that on my dashboard. Just didn't hear the command, that's all. Maybe I was already on one Charlie. Let's try a different one, because I do like to tinker. Um, so let's go, let's just delete. And we just, you only have to put in the, the number you need, really. 30. And then go CL. And remember, you can save this on your memories. Fast forward if it's a bit boring. C, L, tick. And then we key to make us link. And I can see on my dashboard. I didn't put the L there. Okay, do that again. Just add the L. It needs to be eight characters. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. So maybe I've got one too many noughts on those 30. Correct. Uh, 30. C. Then L. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's better. Key to link. Link to R E S zero three zero Charlie. That's better. So that's what I was doing wrong. And then just go back in and then just change it to 
CQ, CQ. C, Q, C, Q. Probably use a pen for this, wouldn't we? Be easier. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you need two spaces. Is that the space here? Otherwise, it won't work. And the instruction manual is actually showing. Let's just do it again. It's actually showing two dots. C, Q, C. Q, C, Q, and on, this is what I'm seeing on the instruction manual, I'll show you. And then we'll tick it. And then it says CQ, CQ. Now let's see if anyone can hear us. M0FXB, calling for a contact, M0FXB. XB, you're for high speed. Mike over here in Sub Bright, Tennessee, and once again, good morning to you. Working well, so we'll grab our mic, and remember, we're Bluetooth, which is quite cool. Very good morning, thanks for the comeback, just on a, actually on a DV Megacast, so it's like a hotspot with a speaker and a microphone, and the microphone I've got is Bluetooth, so how are you doing over there today? Now back to you, the time in the UK is 10.56am. Yeah, I'm doing uh, pretty good over here on the uh, Canfoot D75 operating in the terminal mode with the uh, DV Blue Connect app. Uh, working great. Uh, there is a bit of a delay in between the, uh, but I'm, uh, pressed the PTT and then uh, my audio comes across on the network. But, uh, you're sounding good over here. Uh, got some uh, light rain. Working uh, great. Some coming More videos right to now. follow. 7 3. 